how to add expiry headers in your WordPress website. So if your website's running slow or if you have checked your website speed and there's an option where it says that, you know, you need to add expiry headers. So I'm going to explain you exactly that step by step. So guys, before I begin, I create a lot of WordPress tutorial plugin review. So please consider subscribing. Now let's get back to the video. So currently right now, this is my GT metric score. Okay. If I click on vice law, it says use a CDN and use expiry headers. So currently on my website, the best thing I use is WP rocket. So yes, it's a cache plugin, but it's paid. It does all the work I paid for the whole year and that's it. I'm done. So you need to pay. And then it's very simple. There's a cache over here, enable everything, specify cache lifetime, which is 30 days go on CDN. You can activate your CDN. So I've activated my CDN and then preload. So as you could see, I've preload a lot of things. So where it can preload everything and that's it guys. And another one, which you could use is auto optimize. This is a free plugin. So you can just go over here download this plugin tick mark javascript css and html that's it and if i go on cache so i've not done anything over here if i go on advanced rules nothing's over here dashboard cache file optimization so as you could see it says it's done by auto optimize so it's done by this plugin so I don't even have to do nothing over here. That's it. And it has fixed my expiry headers, expiry headers. And also one more thing, guys, don't try to get everything hundred, hundred percent. Don't be in that perfectionist night where you need to spend, you need to be hundred all the time. It's fine. A, a little slow is fine. You need to work on other things and focus on your priority tasks rather than just spending hours fixing this thing. If it's not getting fixed, it's fine. You could check at a later date or the best thing is if you have no technical knowledge, I would suggest go buy the WP rocket plugin. It's expensive, but it can solve your problem. But if you feel that, you know, you can't spend so much, go on Fiverr, pay someone $5, they can fix it. And that's it for today's video. And also, if you would like to learn about how you can drive free traffic to your website, I've created a free course. The link is down below. Go and check it out. And that's it for today's video. Yavar Khan signing off.